Good evening, everybody. Hope you're all doing well. Rust skin enjoyers, how are you? It's time for the abnormal builders. There's three skins to chase after tonight. That being the Hamster Rock, the Redemption Star, and of course the high quality Metal Thompson. So we're going to go talk about what prices we might want to offer for all of them, and uh, get a good idea of what potentially might happen to them in the future. Uh, you know, will they potentially go down in price or stay, or potentially go up? We need to figure out a decent price to offer for them based on that. And of course, we're going to also talk about the prices for all the regular skins. So regular skins only become marketable uh, when the new rust all rotates in on the Thursday so we will have to probably think really hard based on the amount of sales we've seen for some of these skins what prices would probably be good to offer for them makes sense so shall we get started shall we get up and running let's start talking about the hamster rock so as you are aware, the uh, Pet Rock collection very likely could be getting more acceptances at some point in the future. We uh, we might see even more being made. Uh, we have started to see uh, some of the Pet Rocks getting their own uh, extra... Oh, 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 I've clicked the wrong thing here. This is what I wanted to see. Why has he got all these collections? This isn't what I wanted to see. I wanted to see his skins. All right, we'll just have to look at Workshop this way then. <laughs> there you go. So, Keke uh, made a whole bunch of pet rocks, and he's got plenty of ideas to make even more, but he's also now started to dabble into making some uh, animal-themed deplorables, and this was the most recent one this week. <laughs> so, um, anyway... If he keeps making more pet rocks and they get accepted, I get, I get the feeling... I get the feeling they're all going to compete with each other. Like, how many of you right now own both a hamster rock and a capybara rock, and you've been trying your best to figure out which one you actually want to run around with and use? You know, I get the feeling that's probably a bit of a problem. So, yeah, capybara rock at the moment has maintained its price. It's doing okay. It was, it was pretty much in the exact same position as it was before. Um, now we have this guy and he's pretty much done the exact same amount of sales as the capybara rock But uh, give the fact that this is still in the rust store for another let's say just under 24 hours uh, This is probably gonna go over maybe up to about 34,000 sales. So yeah, this very likely will be in the same position as the capybara rock and We very likely will be seeing more pet rocks in the future. I'm a little bit worried about that. This is a $2.49 skin so my answer is in terms of what prices i might want to offer for our little fluffy friend here we have had some goofy rock skins accepted this year and i do get the feeling we're probably going to see even more um okay so we can just play it safe we can offer like one dollar you could you could offer just a dollar if you really want to that's extra safe um maybe up to about a dollar 20 would probably be all right and then if you want to be a little bit more aggressive, you know, push up to about $1.80. Yep. Yeah. Because I do get the feeling he's definitely going to be one of the most go-to rock skins, for, you know, forever. For as, for as long as this game goes on for. To run around with a little hamster and throw it at rocks and throw it at trees and throw it at people. Yeah, like, that's goofy. That's silly. And I think he will definitely be um, beloved from here and now. So... $1.20 would be safe. It's about the halfway point for what this is currently selling for in a rust store. And $1.80 to push it up a bit. But yeah, I don't know if he's going to always maintain this price. But if you go for a $1.80 price, maybe up to $2, you do get fairly close to what its rust store price was. And if this were to suffer, I don't think it's going to suffer that much. So yeah, try and get it around... 20% less than when it sells from a rust store because if you do buy it you can manage to sell it for a profit then so yeah $1.80 would probably be what I'll be offering yeah that's my that's my decision now if you want to be more aggressive than that by all means go for it but um, if we don't see any more pet rock skins being accepted I think he would have a much more nicer future and uh, yeah maybe we'll get some hamster deplorable skins at some point and maybe that works out all right and then maybe we'll get a whole bunch of hamster skins in general and the rock would only go up more in demand because of it that's a nice hypothetical but yeah anyway moving on redemption sir guys i feel a whole lot more confident with this and this past weekend we have seen the likes of a new redemption skin being submitted yes the redemption ak-47 has been submitted to the workshop and i do believe a lot of people do really want to see this being accepted so the recent trend that we have seen is that 
with more and more redemption skins being accepted, all the previous ones that came out do kind of go up a little bit more in demand and their price stays ever more uh, more comfortable and whatnot, a aka slowly rising up in price. So if we see this AK being accepted, I do think the SAR will do a, a quite all right afterwards as well. Now, in terms of all the SAR skins that have come out so far this year, we haven't had like super crazy designs. Last week we had the SAR Nana, which was bright and yellow. So that, that was a talking point that we had. Unfortunately, it's down 20% at the moment. How sad. All of the other SARs, they don't really stand out too much. They're all suffering. But this right here, part of a set that people do like, the nice, ever so shiny, cranberry red design of Redemption, people do appreciate. This has done 26,000 sales. If this wasn't in a rust or rotation with all of this i honestly think this would have pushed up maybe above thirty-five thousand sales but no we had all of these things here to keep us grounded so it's worked out quite quite all right for this i reckon this will slowly and very nicely gradually go up in price maybe the best thing i can compare it to is the black gold star that came out last year how's that currently doing so let's just go take a look at that real quickly hey black gold star where are you you were accepted, right? Oh, I'm looking at 2018. Where am I? <laughs> uh, 2020. 2020. Oh, here it is. Yeah. Okay, so that sold at $5. And now it's selling at almost $8. So yeah, this sold at a higher price. But in terms of design, nice, shiny uh, coloration and whatnot. I mean, it's gold, so people love gold. Um, I get the feeling this will probably uh, follow the same type of momentum. It'll just gradually and very nicely go up in price SARS are very in demand weapons they are the second highest most uh, used weapon based on damage so I would sit there and say the redemption SARS has got a pretty nice future ahead of it and uh, Slanosta just keeps making more and more skins maybe he'll take a break at some point maybe we'll see a change maybe we'll see some deplorables or uh, some clothing armor at some point hopefully that would be nice wouldn't it so at the moment redemption SAR does look good it's selling for three dollars what price might we want to offer for it so by default one dollar fifty would be a nice safe buy order halfway point that's cool but you could probably push it up with a stronger buy order maybe go all the way up to about two dollars thirty maybe even higher honestly the redemption star really does look like it's got a very nice comfortable future ahead of it people do want the collection people do like the redemption collection so yeah i think it'll be doing all right it did sell quite a lot but I honestly think it could have sold a whole lot more. And I think it's got a pretty good position at the moment. So, yeah. How much might you want to offer? And at the moment, I'm going to sit and say $1.50 to $2.30. Yeah. That's what I'm going to do. I'm settled with that. I'm happy with that. Yeah. Right. Let's move on to the Thompson. So, Thompson's... Um, I'm sure I've already mentioned I've made that Thompson video. I talk about how they tend to be very reliable investments. So, Thompson's, when they go down in price, they don't really go down in price that much. The Wasteland Thompson's probably the best one to showcase. They only ever really go down by like 20%. And then when times are good and everybody wants a Thompson skin, suddenly they all go in the positive. So, aka, it, it, the high quality metal Thompson, very likely at its worst, might end up at around $2. So I'm going to sit here and say, you know what? We could do like a $1.20 buy order to $1.80 buy order. That was very easy to figure out. But the main thing is, is that when I first looked at this rust store, I thought this would be the dark horse investment of the week. I thought that this wasn't going to get that many sales because we had all of this in front of it. Nope. This whole week has been ridiculous in terms of sales. Like, I'm going to be super brutally honest. The concentric AR doesn't look that very appealing to me. Yeah, it still did 10,000 sales. I don't know how. I'm surprised by that myself. But yeah, this did 16,500 sales almost. When you compare that to some of the other Thompsons that came out this year, that, yeah, that ended up being quite high. <laughs> 13,000, 14,000, 13,000, 14,000. It's the second highest selling Thompson of all year. And yet, I thought this was going to sell hardly any. So that clearly went wrong. And I am sitting here saying I'd rather do a buy order. $1.20. $1.80. That is my answer. Because I don't think people care too much about the high quality metal collection. Uh, I do remember the AK was getting weirdly pumped. But um, yeah. Yeah. Doesn't seem to be super appealing. But doesn't matter. Thompson skin's very reliable. At the end of the year, post Christmas time, it go up in price. Life good. 
people make good profit so yeah that is essentially that that's all the abnormal skins only free tonight that means we now need we now need to talk about the uh the regular skins so i'm sure you've uh, probably seen the video uh where is it pirate collection part two um i basically went through the progress of the uh pirate collection i talked about what potentially might happen with the likes of the pirate hoodie and pants as well and essentially when we get to get straight down to it i was just like you know what guys i fully believe we're going to catch up exactly to the point where the chest plate ended up at the chest plate ended up at forty-eight thousand sales and i still stick by that point but i do think the hoodie is probably going to be a little bit less so honestly right now i would actually just sit here and say you probably just better off doing a, you could probably just go and buy them yeah because when when it comes to actually purchasing these skins um when we had the tier three come out i uh, i've already explained this in that video i did a buy order of about 85 cents for my first buy order and with my second buy order I did it on my main account that was about to be exhausted aka it cannot be, it cannot add any more money to the account and it cannot do any more buy orders so basically i was just like you know what i'll go for a more riskier buy order i i, I did 95 96 pennies uh my my currency actually got stronger compared to the dollar ever since i did the buy order a bit funny but anyway um so i put a strong buy order down that kept the price up but i was still buying a whole bunch and what basically happened is is the tier three clearly just went up and did very nicely didn't it when we saw the hoodie and pants appear well this went up to about two dollars and this has gone over two dollars so it worked out very nicely my builders are still there i'm still randomly picking up a few here and there but the main point is the builders for the pirate tier three was instantly all the way up to a dollar so if you're looking at the pirate hoodie and pants i'm just going to sit here and say wouldn't be surprised in the slightest if all the builders immediately go all the way up to a dollar for both the hoodie and the pants tomorrow so you're probably just better off buying them yeah yeah i i i wouldn't even fret like these have got to catch up to forty-eight thousand sales to be in line with the chest plate if they do go over the chest plate that's fine it can still line up nicely with the likes of the face mask these are going to get mixed and match with the likes of dragon rage black gold and blackout it's it's destined to happen all right people on the likes of tiktok and whatnot are constantly putting out videos showing off budget sets and whatnot they show off the pirate collection they'll just sit there and say right there you go there's the new set a uh, new kit i've designed go buy the skins and guess what people do end up buying all the skins and the prices of the skins that go up in price it's ridiculous it happens all the time so yeah I'm honestly, this is probably the first time I've ever actually just sat there and said, you know what, just go buy it. Because <laughs> quite literally, based on what I see, it seems to be perfectly fine to do so. But if you just want to stick with a buy order, even then you still got to offer like a dollar or 90 something cents. You could try that way if you want, but you know, I personally am going to do both. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do both. Sounds good? All right, cool. So... Oh, did the hamster just get eclipsed right now? Wow. Okay, cool. So we're now on to the Reptile Hunter Tier 2. So um, I talked about this during the 48 hour analysis. I quite literally said, yeah, this is looking to be pretty screwed. And I still stick by that point. So, guys, I sat here when I first saw this and I pointed out that the Reptile Hunter kilt very likely will be very in demand. Why? Because uh, most dark green kilt skins are all bought out because again uh people who made budget forest raider sets and showed it off on the likes of uh uh tiktok and whatnot they all got bought out so forest raiders costs almost 50 dollars the kill then you got the um ah, why don't i just show you real quickly it's like the fourth time i'm doing this but yeah if you want to easily navigate and find skins and the likes of scmm.app i can quickly show you right here some on the item section and then we'll click for item type when it stops loading here we go right click this when it lets me there we go road sign kilt thank you very much and then uh, just to make it very easy highest price and here we are so yeah <laughs> forest raiders and military camera road sign kilts are fairly expensive bombshell kilts almost ten dollars then you have the likes of uh, full metal kilt there that's a very very dark green that's fifteen dollars sixteen dollars uh yep so basically anything that's dark green colored that's a kilt it's going to get bought out and it's going to be fairly expensive 
But the fact that we've got so many of these in comparison to the other core pieces of the Reptile Hunter leaves me a little bit worried. So here's how it's likely. Uh, here's how things are likely going to happen. These two skins here, they're screwed. There's far too many of these in comparison to the hoodie and the pants and the tier three. That looks screwed. These two, but this has a lifeline in that. Even though there's far too many of these in comparison to the hoodie and the pants and the tier three, this will very likely still be bought out and used because people simply cannot afford these two, or this, or that. So yeah, it's got a fairly decent future ahead of it, but there's also one more thing that we need to address. And that is, over the past weekend, we just saw another very interesting kilt skin appear. And I'm gonna show you that right now. Gentlemen, a tier two, version two elite crate dropped over the past weekend. And I don't think the reptile hunter is gonna be that special if this gets accepted. If you know what I mean. That right there is also another dark green kill. And it will be up for contention to being selected for a rust door. Um, you know, it could happen this week, next week, maybe the week after that. If that gets accepted, if we see Elite Crate Tier 2 being accepted, the Reptile Hunter sadly isn't so special anymore. Because there will be even more options for a kill. So keep that in mind. So now we need to go ahead and think about prices. For the likes of the Reptile Hunter helmet and vest, I'm going to offer 50, 50 cents. For the likes of the Reptile Hunter kilt, I'm probably going to offer between 75 cents to 85 cents. Because I still think it's going to have a fairly decent future ahead of it in regards to people wanting to get some dark green kilts. However, if we do see the likes of this being accepted, this is definitely going to have a, quite a lot of problems. Yeah. Yeah, so take that in mind. So, yeah. Um, I really do worry about the other uh, tier 2 pieces of armor here. They're not looking like they're going to have a fun time. <laughs> it's too many. It's far too many. Right. Forgotten Tomb Door. This is a very cool looking door. Uh, congratulations to like a Chakloon, Decap and McQuarrie. Did you watch my... Um, did you watch my... Uh, uh, workshop video, uh, workshop skin checks, because um, I actually use these three as an example for, you know, you should follow every single skin creator. I look at decaps and... <laughs> <laughs> the man has uh, taste. Fine taste. Yes. Anyway, moving on. Forgotten Tomb Door. So, cool looking door. Pretty cool. Um, but uh, sheet metal door skins are a little bit... Little bit awkward, little bit awkward. People don't seem to really like them that much. Uh, if they're part of a collection, all the better. But uh, Forgotten Tomb Door quite literally has only just started. I will point this out though. Um, those three guys did submit another Forgotten Tomb deplorable skin over the past weekend. They made a large box. Now, if that gets accepted, I think this will be getting a nice bit of a push and demand and maybe price. And if it does flourish into a deplorable collection, well, it'll probably just end up like the Abyss Metal Door. This is doing very nicely, mainly because, number one, it does look very cool, but uh, number two, it's part of a very well-established uh, Abyss collection, Abyss deplorable collection. So it can do all right. It's just... Yeah, it's a little bit awkward. Now, the second thing, it has actually sold quite a lot. 17,000 isn't insane sales, but it's still fairly high. If I were to show you uh, estimated sales, um, estimated total supply, the uh, def where is it? It is in the upper half. Yeah, definitely in the upper half. Maybe on the border of the upper quarter or third. So, yeah. That is quite a lot, and you can see plenty of other doors around it that are in the negative. So, that could be a potential problem. Alright, so just keep that in mind. For this, I'm probably going to do $0.80 cents to $1.10. Because I think it does look cool. I think it can have a nice future. And I do think there is a potential that we might see even more of the Forgotten Tomb collection. Alright? It, it can happen. It can happen. So, 80 cents to $1.10. And then the concentric AR, I'm not a fan of it. 70 cents to 90 cents. I don't think people are going to really care for it. Yeah, it had a fairly decent amount of sales, but I just don't think it's going to be doing that good. So, 70 cents to 90 cents for that. And uh, that's basically it, isn't it? That is basically it. We just went through all the skins. Um, and if you heard any, like, buzz or hum noise in the background my apologies i got my fans on because it's still really hot for me i can't ex i won't be able to do this <laughs> recording if i didn't have these on i'd melt and I and i'd probably just go all delirious so yeah sorry about that so yeah um 
that's basically everything and i guess all we can really do now is uh, skip ahead so yeah let's just go do that let's go for the buy orders right then gentlemen here we go five seconds and it is time for those abnormals let's roll or um attack or what would you what, what, what are we doing are we racing pacing chasing i don't know come on just give it at me come on i've got all day come on oh i better not do this too much because i probably will get the request issue yeah hamster rock right price that amount and hello high quality metal thompson good day to you sir yes right so what we'll go do now is skip ahead and we'll go take a look at a bar to support after about 10 or so minutes all right people hello hello we're back and of course you can see some of these skins now have prices and SEMM. so let's actually go ahead and take a look at those abnormal skins how are they holding up what do the buy orders look like and the redemption saw is looking very 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 nice over three thousand requests to buy i'm pretty sure these were definitely performed by actual real human beings <laughs> anyway so uh yeah a uh, very high ridiculous amount of uh, buy orders uh yeah that's definitely legit but as you scroll up you can see it's very strong all the way up to two dollars and of course all the way up to two dollars fifty uh, even very close to two dollars sixty guys i really do feel like that's going to probably hold its value if you are questioning hmm if i had to spend some money this week should i buy the redemption star honestly at the moment yeah you could actually go ahead and buy some if you really just want to kind of you know potentially save just a little bit of money you could just probably put down like a two dollar eighty buy order wouldn't be surprised in the slightest if you actually managed to pick up some you know get them for like 20 pennies cheaper than what it's selling for in a rust store if you really want to but honestly that buy order all of the buy order build up right there it really does look like it's holding up fairly strong and i really do feel like this is potentially going to be holding its value this is based from what i can see here nothing is a guarantee but the fact that it's got over three thousand requests to buy and the buyer is going all the way up like there's only <laughs> this is selling for two dollars 99 and you've got bardos going all the way up to almost two dollars 60. that looks fairly healthy and fairly in demand and it looks like it's going to be quite all right you never know though maybe uh we might have something bad happen in the near future like uh oh i don't know a 75 percent discount for csco capsules <laughs> uh maybe it might have badly affect it we'll have to just observe won't we but yeah bardos looking strong if you really wanted to buy buy it it looks pretty good to do so all right moving on we have the likes of the hamster rock this is currently selling for two dollars 49 it has over 1700 requests to buy and the bio build ups looking fairly good mostly over a dollar here comfortably all the way up to about a dollar 50 here and then it's all you know it's really pushing it all the way up to about two dollars here so things are looking pretty okay as i said I do kind of get the feeling it might probably drop down a bit if we do keep seeing more pet rock skins being accepted. But if it's, you know, if we don't see any more from here and now, if we do potentially see the likes of hamster deplorables being made in the future, you know, it'll probably early progress and do nicely. But at the moment, from what I see here, this seems to be the safer option, even with the aggressive, the more aggressive prices. It, I still kind of view that as fairly safe. So, yeah if you genuinely want to buy one of these and you know potentially get it at a cheaper price look look at this guy two dollars 27 he's got the idea <laughs> just put it that he's got no competition he very likely will be getting that for two dollars 27 so you know you could probably put down maybe like a two dollar 20 buy order get them for like 30 cents cheaper yeah that's if you want to do it that way all right in the future will he progress and do very nicely i think he will i think he'll be one of the the affordable go-to uh, rock skins but you never know maybe we'll have something even wackier in the future maybe keke himself comes up with an even funnier pet rock please god make the maxwell cat uh, we beg of you <laughs> or a monkey no monkey be cool or a hedgehog uh what would it, uh, um you could do a shiba dog yeah shiba dog would be right anyway cool uh looks fine should be right let's see what happens from here on now in terms of actually wanting to buy it no as i said you could just do a strong buy order and yeah 
yeah. High quality better Thompson is currently selling for two dollars forty nine as well, and the builders almost the same in terms of requests to buy. The builder pretty much nearly exactly the same as well, pushing all the way up to one dollar ninety. As I said, Thompsons tend to be very reliable investments. This isn't like the most interesting of designs, but. Again, you know, we saw quite a lot of Thompsons being accepted last summer in 2022. They didn't look super great. But when it hit Christmas time, suddenly they're all shooting up above almost... They, they, all, went, they all went fairly close to about $10, didn't they? Not all of them, but like they all pretty much doubled or tripled in price. Bit silly, wasn't it? But it's a case of there's just hardly... Any, there's usually hardly any quantities of these Thompsons on the Steam market. So they tend to be very easy to quickly like do a 180 and become quite expensive because all the stock gets bought out will this happen to this one as well you know i can just give you a nice quick example if i were to take a look at thompson's how many of them have low quantity so uh here we are and the answer is let's just quickly get a good look and artifact thompson has 30 retro blast 36 tier two tier three has 42 uh yeah 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 so they're fairly they're, they're skins that came out fairly recently so just to just to point out maybe this earlier has about 30 to 50 quantity for a very long time and then we could potentially see it rebound and go up in price very very comfortably in the future so yeah at the moment i'd just sit there and say if you wanted to get a hold of these pretty easily you could just probably do like a two dollar ten buy order get them for like 40 cents cheaper because it doesn't look like there's any competition between one dollar ninety and two dollars forty nine so yeah that's an option all good all good right so that's it that's all of the abnormals for tonight tomorrow uh we've already talked about the likes of what we're probably going to do with the likes of the pirate hoodie and pants so of course it's been a little bit later since we talked about this earlier uh we we are probably going to either match up to or surpass the chest plate and based on the behavior i saw for the builders in these two skins you probably just want to do at least 90 cents for both of these maybe just do a dollar by order if you really want to maybe just go ahead and buy some but with the quantities matching up fairly okay with this things do look quite all right for the hoodie and the pants so the option's up to you and of course when tier two eventually appears all the better spike in demand spike in price so yeah, that's looking pretty good. All right, awesome. Now, please don't forget, with the likes of this, you know, it might suffer because of the likes of this. And, you know, if you want to see all of the other skins that were submitted over the past weekend, please consider watching my Brust Workshop skin checks. Yep, right there. Yep. Uh, I go through all the newest skins that were submitted. There's over a hundred of them. Very interesting uh, continuations of collections. The link to it is right here. If you scroll down, look in the description right there. And uh, yeah, just give it a good look. Did you see all those silly looking rugs? Quite a lot of uh, large boxes. Got some hammer skins. Could we potentially see the first hammer skin to be accepted after a whole year? Yeah, the last marketable hammer skin to be in a rust store was March 2022 could the hammer from hell prevail could we get an ice ice sword could we see the likes of another banana skin being accepted could we potentially see the likes of the redemption ak-47 being accepted we've got tempered primitive clothing <laughs> so yeah there's oh look reptile hunter boots and gloves Ooh. uh yeah we have the white version of dragon rage it's called snake bite and it looks awesome. And I know loads of you are going to want to want that. I know loads of you are going to want that. So all of that is available uh, right now for you to go take a look at. And I, of course, talk about the potential impact of those skins are accepted. The main focus with Rust Workshop Skin Checks is, of course, looking for those continuations of collections and talking about whether it's a good idea to invest in those collections. So go give it a watch. Thank you all for watching me. I greatly appreciate it. Have a lovely uh, evening or daytime. I don't know what time you watch this. Enjoy yourself. And uh, I don't know what to expect for the rust door tomorrow. No idea. We could potentially see the whiteout jacket. That could happen. And if it happens, that's going to be pretty, pretty cool. $2.49 at the very least, I'd expect. And uh, yeah, that's it. So thank you all for watching. See you later, and have a good one. Have a lovely Thursday. Uh, I don't expect an early rust or rotation tomorrow. It should be fairly normal. So like 7 to 8 o'clock in the evening, UK time tomorrow. That's what I'd expect. All good. Catch you later. Bye.